wait, wait. You just an album more. Okay, cool. Because in the timeline, then it will look. Great. Welcome to Barnsley Burns Down the World. It's your favorite guy here. Shut up. Shut up. This is my podcast now. No, it's not. Whose name is on? It's my podcast. Whose name is now. on the title? I'm the one doing the intro for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. Okay, oh, this cool. is the Moss Man here. We're going to yeah. turn it into Moss Man Burns Down the World. Are you now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I keep doing the intro, it'll Yeah, if you keep like doing that. the intro, yeah. Moss right. Man and Barnsley. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so I'm here with Moss and Daz, and we're doing a three person yeah. special. Maybe this will go for two hours. Maybe it will go for three. It probably Whoa. won't go for three. It's late. Whoa. It's like, but, yeah, but yeah, we, we started could. way too late. We always start way too late on the podcast. We gotta we gotta watch multiple shows, we gotta eat dinner, we gotta Look, do all It wasn't our this. fault. We Moss no. and I got here and Barnsley was That's editing a video stuff. Exactly okay. right. He okay. was he editing. said he would have been done. And it took him like two hours to finish editing. All right, look, he look. was supposed to get it. Literally yes. seventeen week streak ruined because he <laughs> got it out late. How dare you come into my podcast? He studio started. And you diss my. He podcast. He did the podcast on the day he was meant to release, and then he had to edit a bunch of shit. So now he had to get it out you today, which is the following. You know day. how you say about how you don't like doing meta stuff on the podcast? I've got one. Step I never further. said that. Yeah? I literally never said that. Well, you want to know something funny? I'm about to go one step further. We're about to release really? an episode of the podcast while recording the podcast. So no way. I've prepared the episode. Oh, oh he didn't even release it yet. That's no, I haven't what I was talking about. I've left it open in the tab so that I can hit publish while we're recording oh the next God. episode. And so that's... I'm just going to do that right about now. This is terrible. And that's the kind of lazy production you expect. From Actually, no, no, yeah, I turn it into exactly a segment right. on the that's show. Exactly right. This is the meta segment where I do something related to the podcast, <laughs> talking oh about the podcast God. while on the podcast. And Josh was the one who was like, no, we need to get it out every week on Thursday. I and now was it's a day on late. time until no, I needed no, to get a reasonable no. amount of sleep. And also I did leave oh it because I was gosh. busy. All right? Reasonable amount of sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I was still about an hour late to work though. So, you know. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Nah, that's Those good. work stories are hilarious. Yeah, that's but before good. we talk about that, yeah. Darren and I were talking about how crap the production quality is over here at oh, the hey, oh, hey. world. I think we're doing pretty well considering that it makes no money. In fact, I, I'd oh. say it costs money to, to yeah, run yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not good. But Darren was complaining about it. I wasn't, I was, I didn't even bring it up. I didn't even talk about any of it. I think it's fine considering the the budget. But yeah, he was bringing. He was like, "This is so shit," or the echo and all that bouncing around the room, the sound bouncing around the room. Yeah, the chair creaking every so often. Yeah, the chair's creaking. <laughs> you have you to can make hear noise it in the background. It up, yeah. No, I do have to make noises just to accentuate it. But what, but what do you say, Darren, about all the, that accusation about you shitting all over this podcast? I'd say it's pretty, you know, a custom for me to come and shit on Josh at his own podcast. Yeah, well, you know I do what? it every episode sure. I'm here. It's, yeah, 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 thanks. So thanks. it's it just is, tradition. It is a cost. But... It is an Indian custom. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. Like, seriously, though, back in high school, a friend of mine, uh, well, Tommy was on the podcast. Yeah. And um, <laughs> he showed his videos of Indians shitting on the beach. <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. But 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 Darren's a civilized one. He's, a <laughs> he's are you gonna say he's like he's adapted to society? Is that what you? <laughs> yeah yeah, he's adapted to society. You know, little Darren used to run all over the beach, he's shitting, but now he does not do you know it anymore. Funny? I was never gonna address his race. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna leave it back because I don't know if you know, Darren is not an oh. Indian name. No, right, right. It's, it's like a, it's a white name. I, I guess you could beep it's, it uh, out. It's yeah. Irish, actually. Irish. Yeah. Okay. What color are the Irish? Name. What do you mean? They're white. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. It's a white name. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying. Like, it's, yeah. yeah. But yes. Yeah. It is a white name. No, I just thought it would be funny because of uh, we watched this, uh, we watched this comedy special before, an yeah. Indian performer. Yeah. I thought it'd be funny just to... Hazan Minaj? No, hang on, hang on. This is Darren's it. favorite fucking comedian. <laughs> you're shitting all over no. it. Well, he came and shit you're on my screwing podcast. screwing up the name. I'm trying not to screw it up. Hassan and Minaj. I am, and I am. Moss yeah. Man is yeah. screwing yeah. it up. Yeah. Yes. It's, a, it's just trying to add a little more diversity to my group of friends. Yeah. And you right. know what? It, it was, and he's doing well. He's yeah. doing well. Because Barnsley's idea of dinner is fish and chips. So. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's you right. actually, you were being the involved in my Brit culture. Classic British cuisine, eh? Yeah. <laughs> but well, we're going fish and chips on Thursday, yeah. eh? Right. No, actually, I've, I've had fish uh, and chips in England before, yeah. and I've had it, I found it better here than it is over there. Far out, damn. The, the my, land of the fish and chips. That's my cultured taste buds. No way. Yeah. 
It is. Um, your dad was like, oh, we're going to ride all fish and chip joint. I don't know how many times I have to tell you, my dad does not talk like that, and he's never you, talked like uh, that. What are you talking about? He talks exactly like <laughs> no, that. I think Darren will back me up on this. He does not. <laughs> Josh's dad talks exactly like this. He's a British season. He's a British lad. You've only spoken to my dad a couple of times, haven't you? Yeah, and he's like yeah. three times the man you are. Oh, hey. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I mean, the man's a firefighter. So <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Basically, a hero. Yeah, just call like, him to a little doxing on the podcast. It's, no, well, kidding. no, I think I think you gotta in the beat first that episode, out. to beep out his job. In the no, I'm not going to because I think I'll in the fine. first episode I described this. Like he he puts out fires, I set them, and that's why it was called Barnsley Burns that's Down the Wall. That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good. That yeah. was part of the inspiration for the name. When's your dad gonna be on the podcast, dude? Oh, when it's <laughs> when it's making money. Yeah, yeah. So he can go on and be like, "Oh, this thing isn't stupid." Yeah. <laughs> you can be well, like, so "Good just job." Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, That's all I want. You know, yeah. right? Sometimes I've been told, "Okay, you know, we're proud of you," but, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's like I don't, I don't deserve that. Yeah, I deserve, yeah. I deserve just like it's the full stop, and that's it. Yeah. Sometimes, all right. Yeah. There's always a catch. Either, either nothing, or just don't say it. <laughs> just yeah. Don't. Well, it, well, don't say it or nothing. That's the same yes, thing. Yeah. It's, Either it's, proud of or just don't say yeah, but. You you know, or just don't say it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's. I got that. Uh, we're, yeah. Uh, like, we're proud, but when I was like, yeah, I'm doing stand up now, and it's like I hadn't even achieved anything yet. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I just get the butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks for you, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's good. All right, let's get into some topics. So, yeah, which one of you wants to start with the next one? Because I did the. The meta segment. One of you's got to Moss. step up. What segment? Yeah. Oh yeah, sweet. Just I got something. my I got yeah. my list of topics right here. Oh shit! So oh, it, you it, know says it says nothing. It says nothing. You brought nothing to the show, quite literally. <laughs> no, you know I was. Uh, what was I doing? Um, I got a VR headset the other day. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. I'm a. I'm kind of ritzy guy, you know. We were meant to talk about this on the last episode, and I we forgot. Didn't. Yeah, we forgot yeah. about that. I'm I'm a t- I'm a tech savvy guy. I bought the oldest headset known and the cheapest. So that's is cool. it the oldest? Because it's possible. It's one of the oldest. Do you know much about VR, Daz? No, not really. No, no. but right. Moss got it on PlayStation. Yeah, you got PSVR. I got it like last week. There's no way PSVR was the first VR. System. It was one of the earlier ones. Yes, yeah. definitely, and it shows. But yeah. it was no way it was the first. <laughs> I was like 2016, so it was it was one of the earlier ones compared to a lot of the ones you can get now. Yeah. You know, it certainly is the oldest that you can like pick up, and it's still like, like, uh, like in production ones, I guess. It is on the low end. Like I've used it a couple of times, uh, just borrowing yeah. it for people. And the this was when I was testing before I got my own VR headset, mm. the Valve Index, okay. and f- I found the PSVR to be the worst of the VRs. Um. Yeah. No. Like the thing is, it only uses one camera, so you can only, and you got to sort of point it down at you for right. it to really work right. Yeah. So it's not really, um, yeah, like uh, like the the field, the range of like motion. Mm. It's not there's not as much uh, range of motion. It's still neat. Mm. Uh, it's still cool. Like some of the games on there are still pretty pretty uh, neat and cool. The only two words I know is five things. Uh, I got a well, I got a few of them. I got start a, naming them. Well, the ones I got for free on PS Plus got like uh, Saints Row, uh, Saints Row, Saints, Saints Row, Saints Row VR. This is the first time. No, I've no, 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 no. Uh, the Walking Dead game. Yeah. That one's actually pretty cool. Like the amount of interaction you get is is uh, more than most other VR games, and it's it's really neat. It, it works quite well. Um, what else? I got uh, Arizona. Evil? Sun. Um, yeah, I got, well, I already had Resident Evil Seven, right. and it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, there's not really any motion controls. No, it's, it's just, just it's just like be in the game. Yeah, it's yeah. just like oh, you can look around and stuff, and you yeah. can scare your grandma. And I've um, seen that video. That's it's a good so video. funny, dude. Yeah. Well, isn't there this one where like the 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 woman just takes out a gun, and starts shooting? The yeah, screen that's not real. <laughs> well, of course, it's still, it's still a nice like comedic video, though. <laughs> you know, but um, no, it's pretty neat. I got a um, Arizona Sunshine. I got. Yeah. Uh, Doom Does that run VR. better on PlayStation when you're doing it in VR? Because I know it's a bit choppy on mine. Nah. No, 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 no. Um, it doesn't like cut out okay. like it does with yours sometimes yeah. because Josh's rig isn't it's not, amazing. It's not, it's not really it meant be. for VR, more or less. Probably that's just got to turn down said. a few yeah, settings. Not, what do you mean that's what she said? So Josh's rig is not meant for. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Shut the fuck, so up. True. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I agree with Darren on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> but it's funny because I think 
If if I'm not mistaken, I think Josh is the only one here who's had a girlfriend. I think. Are uh, we go? Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. Yeah. We're going, <laughs> we're going yeah. in or am I right. I'm the only one Fuck who has it. Yeah. Yes, yes, I have. Uh, yeah, uh, it's just a, it's, it's an old chapter of my life. Yeah. I'm currently single though. So. Well, I'm the one talking about a VR. So yeah, I'm well, almost, no, I'm you segue into magnet, me, and I can yeah. I can take it away from you. At, at the no, I'm, no I'm saying I'm saying like yeah, I'm the chick magnet. I talk oh. about VR and games and shit. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm actually yeah, yeah. push some glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, this isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does anyone ever actually talk like that? Um, yeah, you'd be surprised actually. Like people do talk like that. Yeah. People who aren't very self-aware, I'd say. But people do. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Like, when you come across people like that, who talk, like, that way... Like, have you people... Uh, have you people? I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I didn't... You, know, you were I, looking at no, it no, too! No, 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 no. I didn't mean that in that way. I just meant, like, have you guys. Like, you people come down on... I didn't mean it like that. Ah. What do you mean, you that's, people? That's <laughs> Those darn grass. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. No, but, um... Like you guys, like yeah, you've seen this, right? Like yeah. some people just talk in like weird ways. Like how how do you? Yeah, we've seen it all the time, constantly. Yeah. How do you do? That? Yeah, yeah, it's like called an accent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we discovered oh, this. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you're in Texas. How the fuck are you talking like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We love guns. We love shooting. That's yeah. how we grew up. No, yeah. I can't do it. I can't, no, do, you, it. I can't you, do any accent. You're so self-aware when it comes to trying to do like self-aware or self-conscious. Self, uh, self-conscious. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, what yeah. I mean. Yeah, that well, is. I mix up words. Yeah, I know. So do I. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I knew. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> He's talking some foreign language. Yeah. No, but like you know, people are just talking away. It's just it's weird. You know, not an accent thing. They'll talk like the stereotypical. Stereotypical. Wow. <laughs> I think wow. I think you need a timeout. A two minute timeout from talking. <laughs> you guys, you gotta take it away. I'm. I'm just. Stereotypical. Holy the words shit. Are, the words are coming out, but my brain is too slow, dude. This is. Bro, you, you, want, you want like a you guys gotta take something? it. You guys gotta take it away. Right, I'm, right, I'm, right, I'm, right, I'm a bit lost. Where was the last question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. VR. We we're talking about VR. So no, 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 we're talking, no, we weren't talking about VR. Yeah, we were. You were listing off your games. Yeah, and then okay, we fine, got to yeah. accents and shit. But anyway, we need to bring NGFs and whatnot. Yeah. Yes. So the only time that you've played VR is on my systems. Yes. Uh, Correct. So what? Uh, what have been your experiences with what you've tried? Like just. Oh, okay. So. The honestly, the game I was looking forward to most trying out in VR was yeah. Tetris Effect. Yes, and it did not disappoint. Good, it was good. fantastic. Yeah. Just got lost in it. It's good because that's that was the main thing about it. It's just about getting in the immersiveness of that, and then just mm. enjoying the music and just you know feeling the play. Um, I can take it one step further than that. I've passed out and dreamed about tes- Tetris shapes with the headset on my head <laughs> because I was playing the game. So like one of the parties that we've had here, like drank heaps and yeah. this is when the computer was set up in the other room mm-hmm. so i put tetris effect i'm sitting there in the chair like this part like it looks like i've got the controller in my hand yeah and I, i've got the, the headset on the, the screen <laughs> is doing things right but i'm non-responsive and I'm like, what's going on over there and they look over and it's like i've clearly passed out yeah. and the game's still going and i remember dreaming about tetris shapes oh my God. <laughs> on that particular night but yeah the, the immersion next level yeah yeah, yeah I, that's funny because I gotta say that's gotta be like like the most unimmersive like that'd be like the last game I'd play in VR yeah but you see it's it's you, satisfying yeah you don't really have a strong affinity towards Tetris do you? no it, no it's more just like looking at a single screen while you're in VR oh, right? right like that's what that would be right yeah but you get to look around yeah I, okay I, hey, so I Tetris know effect. I know, but you could do that in like three D games that have environments, and like you can look around in the environments. He doesn't and know it's... about the environments in Tetris Effect. Oh, you, have act- you, not you actually it? no. Oh, oh I'm okay, not a big fan. Is... I'm not a big okay, Tetris okay. fan. Well, it's like yeah, each level is a different theme, and it's, and got, it's, a, actually... it's got its own like visuals. It's like okay. psychedelic and stuff. And ah. it's the immersion comes from just like getting in flow with the music. And just like playing Tetris, and it's I don't know why it's just satisfying to like uh, place the blocks like that. in certain yeah, yeah. situations and like get the clear stuff. Shine, Bonds are shining. Um, yeah. And then in VR, it's supposed to be even better just because the response rate on the actual like VR goggles is much sl- like the latency is very low compared yeah. to like some monitors and TVs. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just much smoother, and 
of course you can actually then you're, you're more engaged mm. with the world you can look around and it's you know the yeah. way you're, oh, oh and more importantly it's reactive to your moves well, that's yeah, cool. that's, yeah yeah that's so great. as you drop the blocks and even when you spin them it plays audio like sound effects like and things so you really feel in touch with the game yeah um so yeah, yeah that was sorry in touch with the game you reminded me of the first time i actually tried it it was at your house yeah, and yet yeah, the sound the sound system was on right, mm. and it was a full home theater sound system. Yeah, it was a seven point one sound system, and <laughs> you could feel it in the couch and on the walls, and the yeah. was dark, the lights oh, were flashing yes. and shit. We weren't sober. It was good shit. I was yeah. I was fuck it. I was off my fucking head. I remember, uh, yeah, but, yeah. but no, that awesome. was good. That was that fucking was, good. That, that was yeah. That convinced me to be like, yeah, I got to get this game. Yeah. It so was totally did. worth it. Absolutely. And it's like, not many people knew about the game either, nah. so it's surprising. You were saying how you were one of the first people to really... Yeah, because I was following it from like over a year and a half before they released it. Like, yeah. there was like a trailer, and I saw some like, like test footage and stuff, and like some people got early access and things like that. And I was just hooked from then, just because the sound, like track sounded really good, and uh, just the visuals and stuff. Um, but yeah, that was like the biggest game on VR I wanted to try out. Even though it necessarily wasn't like the most... like. It's not made for VR, but you yeah, can play it in VR. Exactly, yeah, and like it's not the kind of game that would like people used to sell you on VR, basically. Yeah. No, uh, no, but it's a really good experience. Like, it's yeah. simple; everyone knows how to play Tetris. Exactly, yeah. Like um, Tetris is the is the second most sold game ever. Mm, yeah, yeah, and so everyone because you can it's so accessible. You can pick up the controller, having never touched whatever console you're playing yeah. it on, and you know how to play. Yeah, true. Exactly. So that was the first game, and I was so glad that Barnsley actually picked it up. So mm. try it in VR because. I appreciate the sacrifice you made to get the VR. Sure. <laughs> well, I mean, I already had VR before I had the game, I think. That's possible, yeah. You, maybe. When was the when was the party at yours? Was that... It was a while I ago. I think it was, it was way before the pandemic. Yeah. Possibly. No, it wasn't because wasn't, of the people oh, no, who were right. there. Yeah. Because I was there and we weren't really... F friends before the pandemic <laughs> so how could i have been there before true. the pandemic so true it was after we came out of a lockdown so it was right in the middle right in between lockdowns yeah yeah possibly yeah um but yeah other than that then barnes introduced me to the other sellers of yep. vr which was beat saber that's the classic which was great it was good yeah, i yeah. expected that was the second game i wanted to try mm -hmm. Uh, but then Barnsley also introduced me to Pistol Whip, That's a which good was one. a really That's good one. Yeah, that that one, good too, yeah. I actually really loved it. Mm. I didn't understand it when he explained it to me, but when I actually saw it, I was like, okay, I yeah. get this. This, yes. is, this yeah. is good. Just Go, as good as Pistol Whip. Before we get to, get to Pistol Whip, uh, Moss actually has like the top global score of one of the levels. Whoa. In, no, no, no. <laughs> in, aka in, uh, one of the custom levels. It's like the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme on easy. He has the highest score <laughs> <laughs> in no, the world. No, I was second. I was you like second. second. I thought you beat something. it. No, I don't oh. think I did. I think I got like second. Oh, okay. So second yeah. highest score in the world. For ages. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like so completely hard. perfect. It is not easy, but everything 100% perfect. No, it, it's like you you have to do the swings so like perfectly. It was, oh, it was angles, so stupid. power, everything. But like I knew I could do it. It's just like it's so tough to yeah. get every note one like at full at max score and everything. Yeah. You got to do it. But you oh, see, in training God. like that, you turn up the difficulty and then it makes other levels easier and then you just progress yeah. further and further from there. Yeah. Like, the first level that I ever got, uh, a perfect, like, perfect accuracy score. I say perfect, but, like, highest. Like, it goes, it goes from D, to C, B, A, and then S, and then double S. So the first time I got double S on a uh, Expert Plus was on... That's crazy. Yeah, it was on Witcher, like, the Witcher theme Damn. from the Netflix show. So... From that was practicing and there's a particular move set it trains your brain like exactly like the karate kid like you know how he does like wax on wax off and then now he can do the blocks and those moves it's yeah. exactly like that so once you remember that and then it just everything clicks that was the level that got everything to click that was that game is in, like above like normal i'm just struggling i was doing this lincoln park song yeah and i could i could beat it perfectly on normal and then i did it on hard and fucking hell i wanted to get it perfect yeah it was retarded i tell you what i'm like <laughs> it's just because you gotta you gotta do more flick than move yeah sometimes and then yeah. you, you remember the moves the more you do it i did it for ages i was sweating it's yeah. crazy yeah but it's a really good way to work out as well it is it is actually it's just it's to do cardio I, I, I was using that for a long time and then i just hadn't so yeah. that's because i 100 of it that's why i've done everything it's the game is 
complete. Mm. Mm. So mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's how Barnsley pulls chicks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does beat Sheva. <laughs> you want to know how many... How many bar. Bar. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Listen, do you know how many people like I've got any, like, like any, any? You know day, I did exploit plus on VR. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> as long as you're able-bodied, you'll enjoy VR, right? And that's that that cuts out that does the discrimination, so I don't have to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's how he got his first girlfriend. He did beat Saber. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. That's, that, that is one hundred percent true. <laughs> It was a guy. I think do, you, was, do you want to tell that story? I think it no? was WC because you say first girlfriend and you don't know, even know who you're referring to. I don't know, I know who, who we're referring to. No, because my first girlfriend was when I was six. That's not, that doesn't <laughs> count. That doesn't count at all. All right. After that was 13. No, 14. What, really? 14, yeah. Okay, then it'd be third, right? That mm. would be third. Then. Yeah. Okay, what? Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. I mean, because there's um, there's primary school relationships that um, don't really well, count. There's they hardly count them. anyway. Yeah, yeah. but like, there, were, there were still like little bits. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you off the show. I'll tell you what they were off the show. It was dramatic. It was yeah, a dramatic yeah. ending. In, in I just, uh, just want to say, a plas- <laughs> listen, listen, listen. A plastic ring was involved, oh and then at gosh. the end of it, it was returned. Like, yeah. it, was, it was dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> One big dramatic story. Yeah. Uh, I was seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about the one on the. I know, I know, I know. You're talking about the one from 2017. 16. Oh, it was 17. It was 17. Right. January. Yeah. Close that to one, 2016. No. See, it was gay. I think that one was pub trivia. Oh, yeah. That's how okay. that started. Yeah. Because yeah. everyone, everyone paired off and it was the same age group yeah. and then it just went from there. Yeah. yeah, so I still I still use games. And yeah, there was like a buzzer on the table and you both went to press the buzzer and you touched yeah. hands. The, the actual the actual pub quiz it was about like riddles and shit, so it was like way yeah. up way up there. So I was like, wow. Yeah man, I'm fuck I'm, I'm smart as shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's just some basic <laughs> like Batman riddle or something. <laughs> yeah. That you saw in the comic, it's like, oh, oh yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well that's how that was. Have I ever I don't think yeah. I've ever told you guys that. Nah. No, well now it's on the fucking show. Great. Yeah. <laughs> you're on the you're on the pop quiz, that's yeah. how I got my girlfriend. Yeah. I uh, I did the question right, and she was like, "Oh!" I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Mm. Clearly, you've got a lot of experience. I <laughs> so do. That's how you know. That's how it went. <laughs> yeah, plenty. Yeah. Oh, and I said I have no experience. Yeah, I you can't did. Exactly. Yeah, you can't. We've never contradicted ourselves. I have on so the show. much experience. Yeah. We, this is uh, you've all, you've both listened to the episodes. Not once has there ever been a contradiction in the show ever. Never, never, I am never. The number one fan of this show, and I can confirm this. This year. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am the number one fan of this show. Really? What are you talking about? Because you, I know for <laughs> a fact that you don't like every episode. I don't have to like every episode. Of course, you to be the number one fan, you have to like every episode. That's not true. And now I've locked you, and you have to say that you like every episode, <laughs> otherwise you're not the number one fan. <clears throat> I've watched, I've listened to every episode except the ones with Moss. <laughs> well, that's like, what the fuck? What the, fuck? <laughs> what the hell? That's like 12 out of 17. That, that's like, okay, then I am the number one fan. That's bullshit. I've seen way more than that. <laughs> no, I'm the number one fan. I listen to the show. I listen to one episode. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to like half an episode. Like, I'm the biggest fan. Me. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So have you have you caught up to date? Are you up to date on everything on the show? Because uh, no, no, you see, so <laughs> <laughs> your argument. No, no, got a, no, no, no. I, I gotta listen to the Liam one, Luch. Yeah, Liam. Yeah, that's what we've said. Wait, we don't care. Okay, okay yeah. I, I haven't listened to Liam one in full, and I haven't listened to the. I think Hamster Lab. That's the good. That's a good. Yeah, can you finish? Okay, I will. I will. I will yeah. finish listening. Can to you finish for the Hamster one? He's not sold. That was good. The whole 15 minute segment. That was the most recent one with uh, with Just Tom. Yes, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will watch it. That declaration on the podcast. I will listen to it. No, no. Good, good. I am slowly catching up on the Moss episodes. It's just there are a lot of them. (laughs) There are. Well, that's because we were we would do this more often than Mm. everyone else. Well, I was the only one who was available. Yeah. And who was keen to do it? I wasn't even available like yesterday. And yeah. it still was like, I'm fucking, I gotta be on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, you're the main host. Yeah, I know. It's like, this is my show. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not available. I can't do it. It's like, well. I can't wait to do the special episode where it's just me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, yeah. hear me out, all right? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll lock you t- and, and just Tom, right? The yeah, three yeah. of you. Yeah. All in the room and you do an episode without me. Yeah, it's Barnsley Burns Down the World let's without you, Let's see if you could do my show without me. Yeah, and we'll still get oh. you to edit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you guys have to like yeah. you have to make sure all the sound is good, sync up the microphones, you're you're good on that. 
then you'll have to like timestamp yeah. if someone drops any racial slurs because that has happened in the past. No, we'll just we'll just leave you, leave you to figure that one out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got like a, you just got like a strike. It's like, it's like it's just <laughs> twenty n words in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> like why did I get a strike for? As well, after it's like yeah, they're yeah. all in a row. <laughs> they're like at the start and then like oh. in the middle and then they're like kind of near the end and then at the end again. If we do do this, uh, you have to call me at, like when you're recording so that I can yeah. at least have a small appearance on this. It's not completely without yeah, me. Yeah, it's like, hey, what are you guys doing? What are you doing in my house? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even hey, home. Guys, let me, hey, guys, you're going to let me in? I'm outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shut you up. Know, we locked you out there for a reason. It's like knocking on the door and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'll be a good future bit. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll remember that. We That's a good that. bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of good bits. You spoiled the bit on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we. this is where we brainstorm. This is where we do the meta thing where we plan the podcast. On the podcast. While, the podcast, yeah, while yeah. we're doing it. Oh, no, it wasn't. It's just sometimes he's, the touch he's thing checking, is not... He's checking the podcast iPad. Yeah. You know what's funny? Like we should. You could play a drinking game where you take a drink every single time we say that we're going to refer to the notes because it happens mm. like just enough where you could, yeah. but also we shouldn't say that we're referring to the notes. Yeah. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So uh, how do you guys feel about Scottish people? I love um, Scottish people. Good. I hate Scottish. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, you know, they're, they're kind of, they're all right, yeah. Okay, all right. How do you guys feel about pirates? I kind of like pirates. They're kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. Pirates. I like, you know, stories of pirates. I don't like modern day pirates. Modern day pirates. No, they're, they're even better, you know. It's one point. Uh, you might be too far away from the microphone. Just, just for your volume <laughs> speaking, just say, so maybe, yeah. you push the chair? Maybe? I don't know, just... Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. I smashing my knee into the table and I don't yeah. want it to affect the audio. No. Nah, what if I, what if I nah, smash your knee? Like, well, this is, this would be... <laughs> nah, it's... Anyway, Stop yes. wobbling. Pirates. Okay, Scottish so pirates. you like you like Scots, you like pirates. All right, how do you guys yeah. feel about metal music? Metal music. I'm a big fan. I like metal music. <laughs> not, not the biggest fan, but okay. All right, all right. Now I saw an ad on Instagram. Right, a new tour for a band got announced. Right, and it's Scottish yeah. pirate metal. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Now that's I like that. You're like okay. So here's my pitch. Right. Yeah. yeah. We go to this concert. I've never been. I've never been yeah. to a concert like yeah. other than the Wiggles, right? And I say the Wiggles doesn't count because every Australian kid has been to the Wiggles who was like I middle class or above. Middle class or above. That's every- me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the lower class. Yeah, I'm the poor. <laughs> you're low. Yeah, you're- like, what the fuck? Like- <laughs> we were in the same fucking class. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so it's a band called Ailstorm, right? And it started off of kind them. of as like a parody, sort of like haha, we're pirates and we're playing metal music. But then it just got a massive cult yeah. following and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Even better, we should dress up as pirates. And There'll be the plenty concert. of people who will do that. And, and we, we do can. That. We can do that. Yeah. So, how do you guys feel about going to a Scottish pirate metal concert? That sounds good. If I'm dressed as a pirate, I'm not making it through security. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. Well, no, actually, if anything... This is my concert now. <laughs> you should I'm be the, fine. I'm the captain now. You might be fine. <laughs> Look, they're, they're pretty diverse. <laughs> You could do it. Like yeah. one time, they're so diverse. One time they had midgets perform their music video. Like that's pretty good. It's <laughs> but are they Somali pirates? Well, they're not Somali one look pirates. at Darren, it's over. <laughs> 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 His yeah. name ain't gonna get him through. Look, yeah. it just depends how much it is because concerts aren't always cheap. Okay, yeah. this concert eighty dollars. That's see pretty standard. Yeah, that's 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 not bad. Mm-hmm. But just yeah. for a bit. Well, it's not just for a bit. It's more like hey. It's an outing as a group. We can talk about it later. It might also be fun. We can, we can do record things it. there. You, we could, yes. Yeah. Uh, We're at the pirate concert. Yeah. yeah. Like horror. Yeah. No, but it's it's good. It's like it's yeah. it's pirate. Post it's like it to the Instagram. It's, it's sea shanties, but it's metal. Yeah. The, no, it's, it's actually it's, not it's bad. It sounds like actual sea shanties. Essentially, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually not bad. Yeah. Like, there's um. Oh, there's like a. You've both listened to them. Yeah. I think I've listened to. Yeah, I think I've listened to them. I played it in the car on car trips, and yeah, yeah like no, I'm controlling the music. Cunt. I yeah, 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 yeah. listen to my stuff now. Yeah, people right. do. Uh, people it's do like actual sea shanties. Stuff too. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's ones that they've written. There's one they've, they've got about uh, going on a bender in Mexico. It's kind of like cool. I'm not even kidding. It's 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 a it's a good one. Mm-hmm. You could I've got some of their songs in Beat Saber to tie it back to previous uh, like topics and shit. Okay. Like okay, yeah, yeah, that's very so, neat. All right, Ailstorm locked mm. in. I think that's in September. All right, it's not bad. I'm yeah. St- yeah. Oh, we could discuss for the. We'll discuss. You know, it's funny. One time I wanted to go to a Metallica concert that yeah. they were going to do. Um, because they rarely come to Australia. They're, they're always doing tours. All the metal bands are doing tour, tours all over the US and shit. Yeah. They're, they barely come over to Australia. Um, and the one time that they come over here, nobody wanted to go with me. But also the coronavirus hit and then it got cancelled for everyone. Oh, shit. So, yeah. 
And it didn't get reannounced. It's just been... no, no. It's just been got like they've not come back. Oh, ever. that's yeah. rough. Rough for Metallica fans. Now at the time, I was like, oh yes, because I wasn't going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else doesn't get to go. I don't get to go. No one else gets to go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The thing is though, because these guys are aging, so it's like. Yeah. I would like to go to one of their concerts at some point. All right, yeah, there's one more simple way to fix that, all right? We invent time travel. So true, so yeah. true, Josh. Yeah, that's how we fix it. It's real, it's, it's real. Yeah. We can go back in time and go back to the, one of their Australian concerts. All right, I'm going about to break the illusion that I just set because if time travel's been invented, no matter what time period, we'd see time travels. Doesn't matter if it was in the far future or not. Um, well, I think time travel wouldn't work like that. In reality, it would probably work like... Uh, if time travel was to exist, everything um, that did happen has already happened, right? right? Everything that the time travel does would have already occurred. So what you're saying is there's no free will, everything is already predetermined. In terms of time travel, sure, yeah. Well, f f so either... If someone goes back in time, it would either be an alternate dimension, right? or it would just have been, yeah, that guy was supposed to go back in time and be that person right. back in time so if time travel exists no one's got free will unless it's dimension or well, it doesn't we've exist. got free will into the future so long as we're going into the future basically yeah because future doesn't exist yeah okay you like sci-fi shit i want you to wait on this too i thought you already knew this i hate time travel oh okay yeah, <laughs> time, time, travel, time travel is so like in, in terms of like a story it's it, it can really fuck things up man yeah, in terms yeah. of like making things work in reality it's like it, it, just an impossible concept. Aren't there only about maybe four movies but that have been considered to be actual good time travel movies? In terms of the time travel mechanics, yes. probably. Yeah. Probably. You know what's a good one? What? Uh, Interstellar. Interstellar. I've heard that's not so good. Oh, discuss. <laughs> I, in terms of the story, like, I've, I, I've heard that like the way that it works, it just, just falls apart. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, at, at the end, but well, like, <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Leading up to the climax of the film, they do a good job of actually showing how time travel occurs in reality. I guess, but then apparently it just doesn't really work at all. I suppose. Well, hang on. If you know. if you fuck no, up the no, ending, no. then that discounts. They take some liberties with the ending because it's built up. Like they do the actual proper time dilation and stuff from being next to large mass objects with high gravitational pull. Oh, that stuff. That, that stuff is all accurate. So that's that like new. that's the only time travel I actually like was like okay, I can live with this because it's quite. But then like the ending, it gets as soon as it goes into a black hole, it's like oh, it, it's just creative liberty at that point. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, and also fair enough. It and it serves made... a story, so it's all yeah. good. But I hate like time travel in like many other movies. Well, get this in the movie Looper, right? So basically. Um, the younger version of the character like fights the older version if the if anything happens to the younger version the older version wouldn't be there it would be completely different yes the film would be completely like, like th that, that guy's would life would it's be not, entirely it's different just he gets erased from history it's just like no everything it's just, changes yeah because i think a character gets their leg cut off or something so there's a character so there's a, a scene at the start yeah. where one of the loopers is hunting someone yeah and he's got the past version. So as the dude's running away, limbs of him are disappearing because his younger version is being tortured. Yes, but that's not how that would work. No. The older person would just be in a different place entirely and the whole scenario would be completely different. Yeah, because unless the maybe the memories get rewritten, but reality wouldn't wouldn't it, have happened it, that way. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But his it's a really cool just... scene where he's like running away well, and then he just and like then starts his limbs start apart. disappearing. Yeah. That is kind of neat, yeah. but also it just doesn't work no, it doesn't. In, on any level at all. No. So, you know, it, I think, you know, honestly, I think uh, Back to the Future does it fine, I think. Uh, I think what people are saying? saying, no, because people Back say Future Back to the Future is one of the worst ones. Like one of the worst in what, in what way? In what way? That it's complete bullshit about how you can't, if you go back in time mm. and change reality you would have never set like the events that played out mm. to lead you to go back in time never would have happened which means you couldn't have gone back well, the in way time. they did it in the first film generally from what i understand yeah i guess i guess yeah i know yeah. because the way the, i was thinking about it it's like well what happens to them no because it's just the same marty he goes back in time and then yeah no, yeah, I was thinking, it's like, well, what is, what about the other Marty? No, 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 he is the other Marty. He comes yes. back to replace him, basically. Yeah. But the problem is, it's like, well, would he get the memories of living a life with 
his family? What happened to that Marty with that's those why, memories? That's why it all falls apart. Yeah, like, that's why all time travel movies don't work no. as well, and that's why I assume you don't Most like Most of them, them don't work no, at all. Like, it's just, I wouldn't say you don't like them, i say you hate them. Well, I think Back to the Future as a movie is, is a... Is a fun movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is. Good. In terms of the mechanics, maybe it doesn't work. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. On that level. No, nah, that's that's fair enough. Like I do agree, but it's still it's it's a fun movie to watch. Yeah. yeah. I can no, I can agree with that. Like a lot of those films are just you know feel good, like fun movies to watch, which is fine. Yeah. But when the whole plot of a film relies on yeah, travel, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm like. It takes me yeah. out of it. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I ain't one of these guys who's like. It doesn't matter what the story is, you know. Like it, it does matter. The yeah, yeah, mechanics does. of the story matter. <laughs> the things in the story occurring matter. It's just yeah, it is very tricky because you're introducing something to your plot that you have to be careful not to contradict in any way. Very well, it's complex. Very easy to do it. Yeah. Very complex. <clears throat> yes, yeah. that's good. I need you guys to keep talking while I bring up something for the next well, thing because something technical wait. difficulties have happened on my end. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, not with recording. Not but with, with the audio. What? No, 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 no. As okay. in, like, not this, this. Okay, well, oh, okay then yeah. I'll bring up the next segment, I guess. No, no, well, we can continue. Wait, I wanted to bring up something more about time travel. So Dragon Ball Z actually has time travel in it. This is true. The <laughs> Cell Saga is based around time travel. Technically, it isn't time travel. Basically, in there's a timeline, okay? The future Trunks timeline that he is a part of, this character Trunks from the future... And he comes back in time during the Dragon Ball Z series. But him going back in time is what created that timeline. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, so him going back to the timeline that you watch up until that point is what creates it. It's like, does that work in it? I don't know. But, but then him going back in time again and then coming back creates, I think, two more timelines, I think. And by the end of it, there's like four timelines that have been created. Like, I don't know exactly how all that works, but like, actually, you know, and then, yeah. then I think in Super, they contradict it by Trunks being able to just go back in time without creating new timelines, you know? It's, yeah, it's just, it's, it's so, it's too so many long. questions with timelines. And, and, and Cell, <laughs> the main bad guy of that arc is actually, it's, he's not from the future that that Trunks comes from, who comes to the current timeline to defeat Frieza and then comes back to defeat the androids because he goes back in time into the future and back again it's it really is tough it was tough for me to like even understand what exactly was going on because a trunks another version of trunks was killed by cell so he could go back in time to that timeline to to the current to the timeline of dbz that we watch you know it's like the cell saga i like it but it falls apart completely with the time travel shit, I think. You know? That's... There's one story that has a good grasp of time travel mm -hmm. and the way they've implemented it, and that's the Legend of Zelda series. Really? Um, I don't know if you know this, but... Because <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not really big into Zelda, so I'm not really sure. I'll, keep, I'll go into it in more detail with you after the show, but sure. basically there's one of the games, they <clears throat> there's a time travel event. Is and, that, um, is that Ocarina of Time? I think so. I'm not, I can't remember exactly, because I never played the game. I have yeah, only played... Because, because he starts off <clears throat> as his younger self, mm. and then something happens, and now you're playing as his older self, right? I think that's it? I think so. I'm not entirely sure, because I've only played from Twilight Princess onwards. But mm. the way I understand it is, that game basically breaks the entire series into three different timelines. Oh. There's a timeline where, <clears throat> you know, Link doesn't go back in time and actually beats like the boss yeah, and gets know. and goes all the way there's another timeline where he goes back in time gets stronger and then beats the boss and keeps going yeah and there's a third timeline where he dies oh, shit. <laughs> oh wow yeah and all of the games in the series fall within these three timelines so what... but the first four games i think are on one linear and then it branches out oh cool <clears throat> so that's cool it's i that i love how they maintain the continuity that's, of it that's kind of cool like even some of the new games fall in different timelines. Where does um, where does Breath of the Wild fall into? Um, I think it falls into one of the timelines where I think I'm not entirely sure. I think it's one, when he dies or when he like goes back in time and comes back again. Okay, um, it's That's cool. 
the thing is, it's it, they've it's done a bit it. Loose. They, they've like done a good job of containing it. So yeah. they've done the, they did the game on time travel, and it's they figured it out, and they've left the rest of the series to keep working yeah. regardless of the time travel game I, that happened. I kind of want to see what which games follow the timeline where he died. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's the cool thing cool. about it because if you're playing the games leading up to that timeline, anytime you die in the game throughout the game. Like, you could that die at the beginning of the game, him. counts as him dying, and you go into yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the way that the actual game, The Legend of Zelda, works is the, the character, main characters keep getting really I'm glad you said what the name was, so I was completely lost. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I had no fucking that. idea what, what the topic especially was. Especially when I said Breath of the Wild. Yeah, well, you know, I wasn't listening to that part. Uh, I just kept hearing pronouns and, like, it yeah. and them and they, and I was like, which one, who, where? Yeah, 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 yeah. the actual characters in the game keep getting reincarnated, like, over the uh, centuries. Uh, okay. So that's why it's it's not a huge deal about this time travel. The main reason there was time travel was there was a version of Link that wasn't strong enough to beat the boss. So he went back in time, so he had more time to train to beat the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's okay, the plot. Okay. So there's a, it's just, it's there's, just different like timelines. Exactly, basically. so there's a plot where he doesn't go back in time and faces the boss, and then there's yeah, another one where he goes back in time, gets stronger, faces the boss. So is there a certain point in... So it's the same timeline where the two Links exist? Um... No, because it creates a separate not. timeline. Gotcha. Yeah, and yeah. they're reincarnated as well. Don't forget that. So, yeah. And then if at that point where he faces that boss, if either of them die, it counts as the third timeline where he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah And yeah. any point before that point, if he dies, it counts as the third timeline yeah. where he dies. <laughs> I kind of want to play these games, so, honestly, now. That, that, kind of, that sounds cool. We go, I've, been, I've never really touched any of no. those Zelda games. Well, Zelda, the thing is, I've Zelda never been big in... Cool. Yeah, I've never been big in, like, Nintendo games. I've, I never had, like, a Nintendo console. Well, I never really played them. No, no like, not like... Not like no, that. Like, I have a Wii, but I, I really haven't Everyone played. Everyone had a Wii. <laughs> Yeah, well, I yeah. reckon. I mean, for older people, like the Legend of Zelda series is one of the highlights of Nintendo in general. Like, mm. Okay, some okay. of the one of the best cool. series. Um, but each game has has like a different levels of, uh, uh, like yeah, of greatness. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Not yeah. all of them are like like all really good, but I think the most attractive thing of the games is like the puzzle solving and things like that. Yeah. Um, I've heard like with Breath of the Wild, you can do so many things. And, oh yeah, um, like definitely Breath of the Wild is the best mechanically and like like in the world, like you, world can, building, you can influence yeah. so much stuff yeah. in the world. <clears throat> you can like build a fire anywhere, and you can do all yeah. this stuff. And like, it's, I, I remember videos comparing like Red Dead Redemption, how scripted that yeah. was, compared to how non-scripted yeah. and exactly. and um, how open this, Breath of the Wild was mechanically. You know, not just in a world like you have an open world. Yeah. It's just yeah. And it, the best part about it is it's all driven by the player's exploration and curiosity. Yeah. So it's not, you're not limited or forced to do anything. And like some other games where you have to go down a certain path. In this, it's literally, you're like, wherever you want to go, like the journey will take you there. And you kind of get led, but like in subtle ways, like a path might take you in a certain direction. Yeah. Or okay. You might see a mountain you want to go and explore. And it just happens to be connected to a story. So it's like your natural driven curiosity drives the plot forward. I guess that makes the game very user friendly. Though. Yeah, even... I don't know what you call her, our friend. Uh, I I think you can say who. Our friend Sarah even got into the game. Yeah. And she's um, not a video game person, yeah. but she loved the game. Mm, and yeah. she that's and I she used to when we were this in the middle of the pandemic and lockdowns and stuff. She used to uh, play it and then broadcast her like self playing it on Discord for oh, us wow. to watch her. I think I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I was there for some of yeah. those towards the end. And it was really fun watching her just because she used to problem solve like in ways that we would not do the same thing because of her yeah. limited understanding of video games. Yeah, right. Yeah, like yeah. we would take an approach because of our experience in other games. Like, you know, we can go get the right weapon and go like fight the boss or whatever. Whereas she didn't never understood going and training or like finding good weapons and coming back to she always took problems head on yeah. and tried to brute force everything <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, didn't it work up until maybe the third boss yeah and that's the thing like it worked and it didn't work but yeah. at the same time it was her journey and yeah. she figured it out in her own way yeah that's so it's, it's it's quite an well, interesting game when you hmm. like think about it like in terms of that like anyone yeah. who picked up the game and played it would have a different experience to everyone yeah. else that played it. It's just because it's so open, like <laughs> yeah. like I said, mechanically, it's it's <laughs> like you can do a whole bunch of things that you really can't do in a whole lot of other games. Like a lot yeah. of other games, they force you to do certain things. Like RDR2, the, um, the main missions are so linear. Like even if you run a little bit ahead of the group, sometimes that'll just end the mission. Yeah. Because like, oh no, this character got shot. It's like, what? what? I just <laughs> ran a few feet in front of him. Like, what are you talking about? 
You know, like that game especially, the story missions are so linear yeah. compared to like Grand Theft Auto 4 or something. Like, like you can I, run in front I of I tried, you. Uh, before we say, we'll say way yeah. out into like uh, Red Dead, that had a fact about Zelda that is actually some input that I can have that's uh, oh, wow. interesting. You know? It's very cool, cool. You know, so uh, Zelda's well liked among lots of different generations. You yeah. Know? Robin Williams, massive fan of the game. Yeah. He named his daughter zelda because of his love for the games well i, I don't know if you guys knew that's that cool. I didn't know that. but mm -hmm. i wanted to share that fact it's just a well fun i mean, little bit of knowledge it's a bit weird that, that is the, the 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 name of the main cat no, okay well no but yeah, it's like, like come on man wait, wait, that's that's a guy's name <laughs> <laughs> oh it's link oh sorry yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but no yeah zelda williams is yeah she's it's named cool. after the yeah the yeah. series not that yeah. his name robin williams so, yeah. was a gamer uh, maybe just zelda really or maybe just so I don't know. Yeah, who knows? He was on those Wii commercials. Was he? Or like uh, the three? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like he was. Yeah, he, he did a few commercials for Nintendo. I think. I, think. I don't. Know. I don't. Know. I, don't know. I think he did. You might be making it up. I, might, I don't I know. I think he did. I think I'm not going to check. I'm going to bring back an old rule just for this particular thing where I say not to Google something, <laughs> even just though we were googling yeah. Tetris Effect just before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we never contradict ourselves on the show. No, never, <laughs> never, 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 never. We never do that. Uh, that's great. Now. I want to bring. Oh wait, no, which, no, wait, which wait. way are we going? <laughs> which way are we going? Wait, wait, wait. Because did you have something you wanted to say? Because yeah, I wanted to talk about something. Okay, yeah, what do you want? Okay, go, go. go he ahead. hasn't well, had a topic yet, Josh. He what keeps, do you mean? He brought up. You're ruining it. No, I was gonna say he brought up time travel. He did not. He said he didn't like time travel. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were talking about something else. <laughs> I think you guys talked about Dragon Ball for like five minutes. I talked about Dragon Ball for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we got. We got to give Darren a topic go, here. Go, go, go. Yeah. So this is the first time the three of us are on the podcast yes. together. Yes. So it's good. I thought we'd do a little call back to how we know each other. Because I don't know if, if the audience knows. We've discussed it separately on the show. Yeah, it's like you've explained how um, you know Moss. I don't think we've done it. I've explained too how much. I know Barnsley. Mm. But here I thought it'd be fun to just explore how we yeah. know each other. Yeah. And okay. uh, <clears throat> I think one of the funny things that people don't really know is that I actually knew Moss before I knew Barnsley. Way before actually. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we, we were friends since at least would it be 2015 or 2016 would you say when when did you come to the school because basically when you came to the school was when we became that, friends because yeah, so we were in the same house right yeah it would have been 2015 then yeah 2015 yeah because uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was the a year later where i first befriended moss mm. yeah well basically he, he befriended me right at the end of the year okay yeah he yeah did. so i knew yeah i knew moss because we were in the same house and i yep. think I, I talked to him a bit we tried to show him around we were all yep, the same yep, house yep. oh yeah because you were the you were the I was yeah you, 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 you're fine with yeah you, I used to yeah. be captain of my yeah. house yeah. Was leader, it, what were you going to say you were saying like, are you fine with your, like, your official rank oh no, no 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 <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah I think no, I, I helped like, Moss just kind of settle in a little bit yeah yeah um, oh, Darren's been good to me Darren was good yeah, to me look at this nerd he needs help oh shut up shut up no no it's all like that but yeah Moss and I have known each other much longer than I've known Barnsley which is only like like a couple of years, couple couple years, years. Yeah. yeah but we, we but caught up we I, caught up honestly <laughs> the thing is i thought you guys knew each other i, I really did like, i knew I of Vanzi. Yeah, yeah i knew yeah. you of darren yeah. um but, but I, I guess it's just I because like i knew you and i knew josh so i didn't you know i didn't i didn't really i, I thought you guys had known each other I, yeah, yeah. No. but no. funny part is <laughs> yes i i've known moss longer than barnsey yeah but i'd mm -hmm. argue that moss and barnsey are closer friends <laughs> yeah well because they've spent a lot of time together the thing is yeah it's because like w i think we just had a bit more in common and we talked to like we just talked, we talked a lot more, more often and also true, yes, yeah, we had yes. a mutual friend in anthony yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah also in the year that we really met yeah um and like hung out and everything we had the same classes we had, we had a bunch of the, oh yeah, was yeah. it just math i think it was just math I, it was just math but you know i don't think i shared any classes with you guys possibly no nah, you were too high of a tier trying to get an a <laughs> that's, that's so <laughs> true so true are you yeah. in our english class in 2015 or no what what year were we 2015 year 10. Uh, 10. that was your turn yeah oh did you have uh did we have sarah in our class Oh yeah, so I we did. were in, we, yeah, we, we were in the same class in year 10 years. Yeah, you yeah, and yeah, I yeah. were never in the same class. Yeah, I don't think we were ever in the same It was the Asians and it was the dickheads on one yeah. other side. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're getting classes now. Yeah, yeah. No, it, that's, that's no, but I know, I know, I know, I know. But it was also a pun. It was a pun because yeah, we were talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, classes. Yeah, we were talking about classrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, so that that's how we've all met, but we all get along really well so. yeah, yeah yeah because you know, we're not we don't we're not forced to hang out together so we do it when we want to well that's, that's the thing but also i'm a bit of a recluse so i don't really i'm a bit of a hermit so yeah you know you, you got to sort of approach me to do something yeah 
I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to get out of that. I try harder. I'm not going to lie. In high school, I thought Josh was a big nerd. (laughs) Well, he kind of was. He kind of was. You see, here's the beauty of me, right? I can switch from anything to anything. It doesn't matter. This is true. The other day, Josh looked like a tradie. And I was like... (laughs) He actually looks like a man for once. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Boy. Wait, you know what's funny, actually? So, one time, okay, so I'll tell you what. The, the, the dickheads, they were picking on me, basically. Oh, no. In the math class. No, it was, it was a funny story. <laughs> funny, funny story. But I was, I was a wimp back then. But uh, this was, I think, year 11, okay? So, um, basically, we were sitting together in maths, you know, me, Anthony, and, and Josh. And basically, they were, like, throwing tax and shit at me. Basically, and it was it was like what the, well they they would throw stuff at me more or less, and Josh decided to take their pens, now, all like, of all of their pens. Yes, yeah. so because you know how like they always say oh we're not doing work for me like oh why aren't you doing your work yeah they're, yeah they're they, they don't do their excuse. fucking work <laughs> yeah so but it was the it was period two a right so right. everyone goes out to recess I hang back behind the teacher leaves the room I'm still in the room they haven't noticed. So mm-hmm. I go to their pencil cases and grab every single one of all their pens and pencils, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I just start handing them out to random people <laughs> all across the school. Right? It's like, hey, you want a pen here? Have this, have this, have this. Oh, that's so good. I hand it out, yeah, like, yeah, give or take a hundred or so pens to just everyone, right? Yeah, yeah, that was great. Now we get back to class. Yeah. What happens? So basically we come back in, we sit down. They, they've noticed that they no longer have any pencils or pens. And they're basically like, Miss, we don't have any pens. We don't have any pencils or pens. Now, wait, wait, wait. The substitute teacher doesn't believe them. They think it is. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't the substitute teacher. <laughs> I know, I'm it was sure the main because... teacher. Was it the main? Yeah, it was the main I'm teacher. I'm sure it was a sub. It wasn't the substitute teacher. Okay. No, it was the main teacher. Well. She seemed like a substitute. I never had it for any other classes. Mm. But um, no, but basically they, they were like, yeah, we don't have any pens. And then they thought you it was me for a sec. And yeah. they wanted to check my pencil case. I'm like, all right, here. Like, look, I don't have your pens. And then... Because I hand them out to everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, and after that, I assumed, that, like, I assumed they started to suspect it was you. Oh, yeah. And so what happened was, this is the climax of the story. At the end of the day, I think I was talking to, to Adrian. I thought I was talking to... I think I was talking it to was. Adrian. Because I it thought was it was Adrian. Anthony for the longest time, but it was Adrian. Uh, it was Adrian. Um, and basically... Maybe Anthony was there too, because it was accounting. Maybe. Was... But he doesn't remember it. Okay. But basically... Josh is like walking to the bikes, I think. Was it the yes. bikes? So you imagine where the hall is and you know that big like sort of fake grass yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. walking across there to get to my bike. And what happens is just around the corner, like 20 guys come around the corner <laughs> and surround surround Josh. Like you wouldn't believe it. It was insane. You know, we were like, oh shit, it's about to go down. <laughs> he's like, he's going to die. Yeah, yeah, literally, literally. I was thinking like, dude, this, oh my God, this is like, now, just imagine yeah. the sight we're, of we're that. We're going to see a guy getting beat up. A hundred meters away. They see me and they see them. More like 50. More like 50. I'll okay. say more like 50, but still, okay, it was I thought... fucking insane. And Moss had your back. Yeah, I had your back. Yeah? I had your back. From a distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing fucking surrounded you, man. There was nothing I could do. I'm not kidding. It was <laughs> like a movie. Like, legit. But actually, full they, circle. They ran to that corner you know, next to, next to, what, which building was it? Just, uh, the hall. It was next to the hall. Oh, well, yeah. School. This was like this was like uh, yeah it was yeah, like right after the bell rang basically, yeah. and um, yeah they all came around the corner. I think it was at McCoy. I think was McCoy? that the bell ring? No, 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 because it was the hall where they came out of. But it was like where you were standing. Yeah, from where we were standing. Because I thought it was, it was near ca- the, it was Cassidy the Cassidy building. building. Yeah, yeah, they just round the corner. Yeah, yeah you know what that is—the basketball court back there. Yeah, 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 they just round the corner. You can't see them before that. It was insane. Cannot stretch. Twenty people just appear out of nowhere, and yeah. they're all coming for you. <laughs> and now t- <laughs> tell us what they said. All right, so. Can I, uh, I can, Adam J, okay? Do you yeah. know which one I'm from, yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay. <laughs> he gets right on my face, and he's like, all right, we know what you did. And I'm like, I don't <laughs> know what you're talking funny, about, eh? right? Oh, dude. No, 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 he legit, he gets right on my face, yeah, right? Yeah, and he goes, yeah. we can do this the easy way or the hard way, <laughs> straight out of a movie. And I'm like, boys, I don't know what you're talking about, all right? I don't know if you know this, but the bells are, like, going, and I have to go home. So do you, boys, so I will see you later. Just fucking left. Yeah, they did nothing. They, they didn't did do fucking anything. nothing. What the fuck? I was expecting a beat down. <laughs> Turns out you could just walk away. It was all talk and intimidation. Yeah, Literally yeah, yeah. nothing. They just let you walk. Yeah. It was so funny. 
<laughs> what like, was that? What, the what did fuck? that like look like from a distance? Just like that. Was, it looked like you were about to die. Dude. Yeah. Like it was. It was insane. Literally, like he was completely surrounded. All these guys. Yes. Like they, they they must have told him like, oh yeah, we're gonna kill this dude and yeah. all this. But then nothing happened. But then nothing happened. Dude, yeah. I, I turned around and waved to them goodbye. As I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> after I left the circle from safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like see you tomorrow, guys. Yeah, yeah. And it's like so hilarious. Yeah, and then nothing. That's- yeah, nothing bad came that's of that. Good. Yeah, yeah good. they they didn't like say anything about it. They didn't do anything about it after. Oh, that. that's it. It was just over. <laughs> yeah. Like even the next day or whatever it was, like the next time you had to come to school, they yeah. did nothing. Yeah. It's like okay, all right. So I got away with it. Yeah. But now it's public, so I guess. All their yeah. But uh, yeah, it was so funny now, though. But... Oh yeah. <laughs> it was. Oh, dude, yeah, at the time I was like, oh shit, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Josh is dead. He's yeah. <laughs> I only found out a year later that he saw what happened because I, I, I didn't. Yeah, really, dude, I was there, man. I, I didn't even it. really know. Like, I, I, told, thought... I told you Josh was a nerd, but he yeah. has moments where he's a man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he, he's, he's more man than you know. Let me tell you. More man than you know, this guy. What have you seen? <laughs> okay, shut up. Not like that. Not like that. What the fuck? I'm, I'm, I'm being nice to Josh yeah, here. Yeah. I appreciate you both at this moment, alright? And then you're shitting on me. Yeah, no, this know, is good. For the way I wanted it. Yeah. I've been shitting on Josh for a while. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, like we need a balance, alright? Perfect balance, good and bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No. That's, 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 that's my Indian ribbing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Good. All right. Well, if we're doing ribbing, I've got something to show you. So approximately, so on the day that we recorded, it was a year ago, right? You made a declaration of something. What was the declaration? I'm going to play a video. All right. Uh, You're going to see the video, but there's going to be audio on the podcast. What did I do? What did I say? All right. You're going to love it. Oh my gosh. I I don't think I'm- This time next year, I will be magnificent. My body will be uh, that job of bodybuilders. I'm strong. Stronger than I've ever been. You will see. So well, I'm stronger than I've ever been. Yes, that's true. However, do you have the body of a bodybuilder one year after making this public decoration? No. <sighs> You gotta no, step up your game. I'm not. No. You gotta step Stop up. Stop body shaming yeah. Mark. I don't know. I never <laughs> said it was bad. I'm just saying if you're yeah. gonna you make- You just called him out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, if you're gonna make a declaration and have evidence- Using my embarrassing footage. Yeah. No, hey, hey, no one right, saw the video. No one saw the video. You yeah. said you, you would be say- a comedian. <laughs> okay. Are you laughing or I'm, not? I am being cancelled for my declaration. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I don't have the body of a bodybuilder, but I have been training and I am stronger than I've ever been. That's that good. That's good. So you've, you've fulfilled 66%. But that was, that was drunk <laughs> talking. Yeah. yeah. Doing the, doing, doing the, the four accent, accent, you know, I'm like, like <laughs> I will be like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just so I wasn't going to point attention to it, but you said your own name. <laughs> did I? You did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was unsure about that. <laughs> Yeah. Is this, uh, okay, good. I've made a timestamp. Oh, uh, whatever. We, we keep saying each other's names. It's fine. Yeah, I know. We keep switching. Yeah, oh, yeah I know. You're fine. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. No, I'll see. I'll keep. I'll beep. I'll, we'll, we'll all right, all right, all right. If you want to keep going. I've timestamped it. It's fine. If you want to keep going. Use this to advantage to make more work for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just say my name 20 times in a row. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. I won't do that. I won't do that. I'm That's a good right. friend. I won't do that. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Tom didn't do it when he I recalled him for his beer uh, last dude, episode. Oh, dude, I tell you oh, what. I saw, I remember hearing all the beeps in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because he started saying the N-word. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I've been restrained. Okay. I'm usually the one who's like, who's like, man, yeah, and this and that. But you know, who's just. Uh, <laughs> don't, say, don't say you were the one that was at this end. That's not a good look either. <laughs> if anything, that's worse. It's called no. comedy. <laughs> that was good. Just Tom was like, I don't care. It's not my book. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Off. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one being nice I'm here. protecting you guys. Okay. Then, this is not for my sake. And sense. then I, I'm being the mature person that I am. Yeah. I chime in as well with my yes. own. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. He started doing it. I mean, come on. Yeah. I, and I you're like, yeah, now you have to. You got I no choice. Yeah. Fantastic. So That's fucking funny. Oh, it's, so yeah, funny. Yeah. It's all right. So uh, I've been aware of the time, but if we just if we can record two hours in a row, I might chop it off because I put the outro music now as well, so it can fade out while we're laughing at something. If you don't mind. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. As long yeah. as we're yeah, we're good to keep oh, talking. Good, good. Yeah, good. Because yeah, I was I did see that when I had to make note of the beep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, huh. how how do you want to make another declaration that you're gonna? Act
actually reach that body I level. Will, dude, yeah. it, I've looked into it a bit more. It's really hard to get to like a bodybuilder level. I know it's hard. No, like it's still achievable. Like no, 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 no. It's really not. Yeah, of course it is. Naturally, it's like almost impossible. Basically, Wait, just, just getting abs is just difficult. Well, like, <laughs> well, no, actually, abs. All you got to do is just do ab workouts, and then no, like but you have to have a strict, fat, you have like, to have a strict diet and keep up your cardio well, exercise as well. If you like the diet, then it's not so so bad. Like that's yeah. the thing. You just got to have foods that you like to eat, but just not a whole lot of them. Yeah. The less calories, less fat intake. You know, generally, I, I make it sound like easy, like, yeah. but it, it's it easy is, to it, understand, not as easy, easy to understand. practice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's it's sort of tough to practice, um, but it, it, you know, it's it's not too hard. So I, you know, that that's why that's why we we hate the fatties around here <laughs> because all you got to do, quick stuff in your pie, fucking a hole. We're stuck in your pie hole. Do you remember what I said about shouting on the podcast? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell him Sorry, like, immediately. Guys. I was like, hey, someone, I got someone a, said, I got a bit heated. Stop I got a bit heated. On the I got a bit heated. I didn't tell him who it was, but I said <laughs> I he's not allowed to do it anymore. I got a bit heated. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I got, I got a bit heated. Yeah. Nah, it's all right. No. It's good. We had a really good loud moment before, yeah, though, yeah, so yeah. maybe I'll have to turn that one down. Well, our laughter is pretty loud. So. No, but it's still good. Like it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. I've found if you listen to people who are having fun, you not you feel, have you fun feel like yourself. secondhand fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you feel vicariously having fun through them. Yeah, that's how it's like. Uh, you guys seen that picture of the dude eating ice cream next to the billboard of people eating ice cream? It's like this is what a podcast is like. Yeah, <laughs> you're not with them, but like you're still. You're, you're listening to the conversation. Yeah, but there's yeah, nothing yeah. you can do to change it. Yeah. That's what it's like. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but but basically, you're like their best friend, and you're like you know, you're, you're basically like one of them. You're there, so yeah. it's, they're your best friend, but you're not theirs. Oh no, no, of course they are. No, no what are you no, talking no, about? No, huh? no, no, no. See what? that that wall of illusion. <laughs> no, no. You see. Uh, that's a, that's a step too far. You don't want to go in that direction. No, you don't. They're my best friends. <gasps> <laughs> they just start talking to you. Who the fuck are you? Shut up. Yeah, they just die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that bit. Is, is, is that is that what happened to you on the podcast? Yeah, like is that is that projection? What? Well, <laughs> I no, I didn't even have to say it was projection okay, that time. Okay. He's got it in his head. I thought you were gonna do it. Yeah, I know you're gonna be like, is it. that projection? And then Hold I didn't, on. and he got ahead, and now it's only him that does it. So now yeah. he's projecting onto himself. <laughs> it is. It's true. It's real. This is a, this is like yeah. third level mind games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally forty <40-ish> chat. <laughs> It's true, it's real. We're up to six. Six Ds. <laughs>